Hello everyone, I'm Ashwati Prabhakaran. I have cleared UCC in December 2023 in the subject Environmental Sciences. So I have scored 166 mark and I have cleared net in general category. I would uh, like to share my experience during the preparation for this exam and also I would like to share with you guys some platform which have helped me to prepare for this exam. At first, I would like to thank Zakhlet sir and Zakir Ahmed sir. He has helped a lot through his, uh, worth mentioning is his quizzes in Telegram channel. Like he conducts, some of you guys might have not joined his Telegram channel. So in this channel, he conducts quizzes every day except Sunday every day uh, and uh, in that like it really helps us to know which area to focus more uh, so that is really helpful and then in his channel also there is a lot of video related to our subjects so through that also we can prepare for the exam uh, and then there is our channel Enviro Academy uh, which also upload uh, uh, environmental science related videos and then uh, an academy is also a channel where uh, Jyoti Ma'am is teaching uh, environmental sciences. She also uploads three videos on YouTube. And then Adda uh, 24-7, UGC and Adda 24-7 is also a channel where Anshika Ma'am is teaching environmental sciences. So there also uh, we can get uh, free videos on YT. Uh, and then for paper one, so paper one I would say you can go through any, there are a lot of channels which provide uh, contents on paper one. So that's it, be it by Zoom's and Academy or at 24-7, a lot of uh, channels are providing content on, contents on paper one. So you can go through that. So then if you are a person who likes to read, then I would suggest, uh, like many of them say Arihant. And Arihant uh, do help in having a uh, like general overall idea. Uh, basically, for a beginner, Arihant might help. But I personally don't think it is enough for um, for clearing net or GRF. So I would uh, also I would like to suggest a book Catalyst, which also uh, covers in an exam point of view. It's a very good book, so you can also go through that. Uh, then uh, I would also suggest uh, like uh, you everybody like some people think that oh, paper one is not that much uh, like we need not focus that much but I would suggest we should give equal importance for both paper one and paper two because in paper one the syllabus is not actually that vast so one if uh, required one can actually uh, cover the complete uh, portion of paper one so uh, so if somebody is covering i think it is kind of possible to score around 80 and if uh, and 80 if anyone is scoring around 80 and if one is strong enough in paper two one can easily qualify jrf and then i would say revision obviously revision is a must uh, like many people including me <laughs> Like uh, we lack a bit in revision, like we read a lot of books and this and that but then uh, at a time of exam like maybe a month or some weeks before we should start revising it. So this is what people lack. Even me easily a mira shayet jrf te gaya tha chart question se and it is sad. I know even many people uh, like miss jrf in like a, a single question and it's really painful. Now the person have to like study from at first, like the whole syllabus, uh, they have to uh, like go through again and it's really difficult. So I would suggest scoring a high enough score, key, you know, a safe score, even though the cutoff goes high, we should be high than that and our score, score should be high enough. So, so revision is a must for that, I would say. So that's it. So I wish everybody all the best. And yeah, I'll be also preparing for JRF now uh, for the June session. And thank you, sir, for giving me, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. And yeah, that's all. All the best, everybody. Thank you.